So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. It didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and then next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy, he scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Tom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills look bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got. <laughs> Spun yet tail, pal. You got an informant right there that says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect, small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. <laughs> I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the Junkers to Gow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like uh, 
Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, I'll make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? It feels like we're packing this place up. Moving it to the stands. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ. That was some night. For you, maybe. But those broads, not so much. Help you, Tom? Nah, just looking around. I saw you talking to the Don. So you know what to do. He didn't say, go look around. Hey, ignore what Sam was saying. Those parakeets were singing just for me. That's a five, a six. Along with what's all right. Hey, hey, buona sera, Tommy. Hmm. So that's a five, a six, uh, along with what's already behind the bar. And the moon. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is. Then look someplace else while you turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks, good to know.
Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. <sighs> Things I've seen. I know it's good to relax with WBDS in the evening, but what about tomorrow? The modern man, or woman, needs activity, and there's no better place to get outfitted for recreation than Barrington. Our sporting goods take up an entire floor in our flagship store. Get yourself moving with Barringer, Edmunds Tools. Okay, this is it. She is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Berton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard.
Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Our cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Back. Thank Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom 
and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just got to make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Sure, Frank. You've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss OK? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite Mikey Dunn is out. Replacing him is uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. The pack falls away, but there are some blurry faces from the mechanics in the pit lane.
Anderson and Garcia are in second and third, waiting for a mistake from Angelo. The leading drivers are on the final lap. Tommy Angelo. Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner! Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months' rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morello's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Something, huh? Cheers. Nah, but, uh... Maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy, Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. You mama made that work easy to Tatami. When they started, started racing here 20 years ago, most guys didn't, didn't even make the front end. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed her where to go. Not win, just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Colettis. Well, enjoy the moment. Great race, champ. That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until 6. Please leave when requested. Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you see Paul? I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all racecores that the sale and consumption of alcohol is 
strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. Oh, thank Christ you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay, then. I guess. Well, let's go, Jim. <laughs> See the dawn and your mind's racing. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks. Just like you. Trying to make me feel even worse. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to. Where the hell he goes home to? Polly, you drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own six. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Tom, I wanna go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Eight me the ladies! Eight me the blue tropics. I don't know, I ought to take you home. The bridge! Take the bridge over the island! Take me to the ladies! Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. Oh, home? Throw me home? Maybe. Maybe that's. Yeah. A good idea. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, um, let me... Yeah, I, I don't feel so good.